Hello everyone, very good evening and warm welcome to this induction program. Uh, I am Dr. Hemlata R. I am working as assistant professor in Karnataka State Open University Journalism Department and um, currently I am heading the department. Uh, we are three faculties in our department, uh, Dr. Tejas Vinavilur who is working as associate professor, Dr. Shailesh Rajaras who is working as assistant professor uh, in the department. We are serving this department from last 10 years and we also have non-teaching staff in our department. Uh, Mm, one is Miss Bhagya, uh, the other one is Miss Deepika and uh, Mr. Gagan. So we work from uh, uh, you know morning 10.30 to 5.30, all, uh, all days Monday to Friday, uh, sorry Monday to Saturday, excluding second Saturday and fourth Saturday. So uh, why I am giving this information is anytime students can visit to the department for any uh, kind of information or help. So other than that, we, uh, we have also uh, given our phone numbers uh, or telephone numbers in the website. You, you can take the numbers and contact us for any details. And uh, to talk about our department, our department was established in 2003 uh, with one course initially, PG Diploma in Journalism and Mass Communication. Subsequently, two, uh, two other programs by name uh, MA uh, Journalism and Mass Communication and also Diploma in Journalism was started. And later on, PhD the PhD course was also started. Currently, we have four programs running in our department. So, uh, right now, uh, you people have uh, got admission to various programs in our department. A very warm welcome once again. So, I would like to talk about uh, the courses. Uh, the first thing is, first course is MA in uh, Mass Communication and Journalism. So, uh, there is PG Diploma in Journalism also. What I would like to explain here is the content or the syllabus for both first year MA in Mass Communication and the PG Diploma is the same. Because some students who receive study materials for PG Diploma, they call us and tell that you know they have given MA first year uh, study materials. But the, since both the syllabus is same, the study materials is also the same and the question paper pattern is also the same for both MA in uh, Mass Communication and Journalism first year and PG Diploma in Journalism. So there should be no confusion with regard to this. So there are five papers in first year MA uh, and uh, as well as PG Diploma in Journalism. The first paper is print media. Uh, it focuses more on uh, uh, the newspapers and magazines and how it was evolved, how printing was evolved and uh, print media, uh, the second paper is media in India, third one is communication theory and research, third paper is media policy and technology and the fifth paper is applied communication. So the papers offered first, as I said, print media focuses on evolution on, of uh, printing, history of newspapers, the organizational structure of newspapers and magazines and difference between magazines and newspapers, reporting and editing techniques. Media in India is a paper which focuses on different types of media like, uh, like I said magazines, newspapers, television, radio and folk media which is called traditional media. So there is a third paper which is called communication theory and research and it, this paper focuses more on uh, uh, the communication part uh, wherein it introduces and explains the concepts of communication, the elements of communication and also explains what is mass communication. And research is also introduced here because uh, after finishing the uh, program in journalism and mass communication, anybody can enter into any media, especially you know radio or television which is called electronic media, magazine or newspaper which is called print media. Apart from this, there is also two areas which students can explore their uh, you know strengths. Uh, one is research where you know the student can join for a PhD program for conducting research uh, in any university across India. And uh, the other one is applied communication what we call which is fifth paper. It focuses on advertising and journalism, advertising and public relations. Uh, currently advertising and public relations also you know it has thrown a lot of job opportunities for students and communication is the key skill which is required there. We focus on that. So that is fifth paper which is applied communication. Uh, two concepts advertising and public relations are covered and there is one more paper which is called media policy and technology. Uh, this introduces into media laws. What are, what are the rules, regulations and the laws that the journalists should be aware of in order to follow journalism and mass communication. So we will conduct contact classes uh, for you people. Uh, it will be currently our program is running in annual mode. So we wanted to switch to CBCS last uh, year. But due to some technical issues, we could not start. Uh, we are planning to start it from the next uh, July session. Currently, your course is annual and uh, you are supposed to attend the contact program once in a year 
probably it will be in the month of January, uh, the next month. So there will be five days of contact classes for you people, depending on the situation of you know COVID-19, how what the government or the university decides, it will be decided whether it is offline or online. Whatever mode we are conducting, conducting, we will definitely uh, you know mm, upload it, upload the information or the notification in your respective groups and also in the website and the student apps. Kindly follow the website and uh, attend the contact programs. So you might be thinking why assignments regarding journalism is not yet uploaded, but all other subjects have been done. But uh, see, our department follows uh, a system that where you know uh, we, we believe that students should be assembled at one place so that they know each other because this is a professional course and a lot many opportunities might be there in different areas or you know different regions uh, wherein you can exchange information with uh, with your classmates. That is one reason. So once you come to the contact program, we will be giving you assignment questions and you can submit your assignments after your contact program, one month of duration will, will be given to you. Uh, coming to the assignments, assignments will be for 20 marks, all the papers irrespective of the courses, so all the papers assignments will be for 20 marks, theory exam will be for 80 marks. For 20 marks, uh, uh, there will be two questions given, uh, uh, you have to answer both the questions, there will be no choice. So most of the times what happens is students get confused, they think that there is choice, you know, in, even though we uh, give all the instructions, uh, students neglect to read instructions most of the times and, and they submit only half of the assignments wherein you will lose 50 marks. I mean uh, 50 marks like combined all papers. So totally with all the five papers the assignment question questions will be for 100 marks. You have to answer all the questions and submit it within the deadline. And one more important thing what students should remember is uh, in which year you have got admission, in the same year you have to submit your assignments. If there is no option for you to submit your assignments next year. You can take the examination next year if it's not possible for you this year, but you have to submit your assignment this year if you want to claim the marks for assignment. Okay, And uh, the theory marks will be for 80 marks and out of 80 marks it is important for you to score 32 in order to pass. So uh, assignment marks, uh, I mean apart from assignment, assignment marks, you have to score 32 to pass in your exams. And uh, uh, please remember that you have to submit assignments in the same year in which year you have got admission. So this was, uh, uh, and so far I have given information about first year MA which is equivalent to PG diploma in mass communication. And one more important uh, uh, thing what I want to explain is, uh, we have PG diploma in mass communication which I already uh, talked about. If you complete PG Diploma in Mass Communication, you can directly take admission to second year uh, in the next year. Uh, after you pass PG Diploma in Mass Communication, you can directly enter second year Mass Communication which is called lateral entry, that option is there. And uh, even uh, people who have, uh, mm, you know, who cannot continue your studies in second year, if they discontinue it after first year, they will be given certificate uh, of PG Diploma in Mass Communication. Okay, this option is there. So, uh, that you can use it uh, depending on the situations you are after your course is completed. So this was first year and PG diploma. Now I, I would like to talk about uh, second year MA. Uh, in, in, even in second year MA there are five papers. Uh, out of five papers the first one is specialized communication we call specialized communication. See first year MA uh, subjects or the course what all we offer is basic concepts of journalism. If you want to be a journalist, if you want to work in a communication or mass communication area, what are the things and skills that you need to be acquainted and learn. Uh, we'll just uh, come after a short break. Good evening, welcome back, sorry for the inconvenience, there was a small technical issue which is resolved now. Uh, we can continue our uh, induction program. So I was uh, explaining. I was explaining uh, that uh, the first year programs or uh, first year concepts which you are, which are given to you are uh, basic concepts which you have to be aware of. Whereas the second year gives you specialization. So there are particular areas where you can specialize uh, with regard to journalism. So the first paper in the second year uh, course is specialized communication. This focuses on international communication. So it explains about how international news flow happens, what is the role of UNESCO in this commu new communication order and um, there is intercultural communication, marketing communication and financial journalism. And there is also one more paper which is called media appreciation and research. This concentrates on uh, uh, communication psychology, media criticism, media advocacy and media research. 
and uh, the third paper is on uh, communication dimensions it, the title of the course is communication dimensions uh, which covers environmental communication broadcast journalism film studies and photojournalism so these are some of the technical uh, uh, you know concepts uh, which is which are introduced to you so that you you are you know skilled before you enter the field and the fourth paper is current affairs and social issues because because journalists need to be aware of many things because everyday things happen everyday events occur and you have to be you know capable of understanding the concepts understanding what is going on and for that you have to be you know aware of things that are that have you know been in the past so with regard to this and also uh, you have to uh, empower yourself with some information and knowledge regarding economic issues issues in focus and social issues which will be helpful for you once you enter the field and current affairs is also one uh, subject that we focus and the fifth paper is communication skills. Uh, communication skills is very important uh, because uh, electronic media or even uh, uh, the print media, both, both uh, you know, whatever media you choose in the journalism field, communication is the key. Communication is very important without which you cannot survive. So we concentrate on different types of communication that is spoken communication, written communication, graphic communication and also nonverbal communication. So by the time you finish the course of MA, for, uh, MA first year, uh, that which is equivalent to PG diploma, you will be aware of, you will be you know, uh, knowledgeable about the basic concepts and the skills that are required for journalism. By the time you complete second year, you will be completely uh, you know, ready for the field, ready to take up uh, you know, job at uh, electronic media or any print media for that matter. So this is an assurance from our side. And uh, to talk about diploma in journalism, uh, there is you know, a difference between the course content that we offer for uh, MA in journalism uh, and diploma in journalism. Diploma in journalism is uh, you know, the course that is offered for after plus two. That is after the second PUC, people can uh, opt for diploma in journalism. Here the basic concepts are covered and uh, the more stress has been given to the history of journalism. How uh, journalism started in India, how printing started in India. And uh, it does not ta talk more about electronic media and advertising and public relations. These are the two concepts that are excluded from diploma in journalism. Apart from that, anybody who finishes, who completes di diploma in journalism will be ready to take up job in print media. Uh, but reporting skills will remain the same wherever you go, apart from uh, uh, you know, uh, the method or mode of reporting, uh, the skills remain the same. Even in diploma in journalism, we have covered many concepts which are, you know, first thing is principles of journalism and mass communication and uh, a history of uh, uh, journalism, Indian press and as well as Kannada journalism, how uh, jo journalism started in Karnataka and how it has grown to uh, the current stage. And uh, there are reporting and press laws uh, in diploma in journalism also. We also help with uh, editing skills and specialized writings. And photojournalism is also taught to some extent. So in the last uh, uh, courses, last paper for uh, <coughs> diploma in journalism is newspaper management and current affairs. So diploma in journalism is, uh, is a, a course which gives you a strong base um, if you want to enter uh, journalism field after your plus two. So this was the, uh, the course details that uh, journalism and uh, mass communication department is offering currently. And uh, we have spoken about the examination uh, details also. It will be 80 is to 20, 80 marks for theory exam, 20 marks for assignments. Assignments is compulsory. You have to submit it within the deadline, which will be given to you in the contact program. And contact program details will be shortly announced. It will be uh, held around January, offline or online, it depends on the COVID situations. So uh, I request you all to follow the website, follow your uh, KSOU uh, uh, student uh, groups, whichever you are part of. And uh, also to talk about study materials, uh, some students have received hard copy of uh, the study materials. Some of them have not received. Uh, they have been told that once the printing is completed, you know, once we, uh, once we received the printed copies, it will be dispatched. Till then, what I would like to uh, suggest is you please install KSOU student app wherein uh, uh, the soft copy of, the, of, of all the study materials are available. Um, you can contact this number, uh, uh, Dr. Naveen Kumar, assistant professor working in IT department in KSOU. His number is 906009157. I repeat, 906009157. You can contact this number. Dr. Naveen Kumar will definitely assist you to download the soft copy of the study materials. 
until you get hard copies you can refer on your soft copies uh, to talk about question papers many students call me and ask for question papers uh, see question papers um, all the years of question papers have been uploaded uh, the KSOU student app you can download it and uh, you can refer to the past year question papers and we also have a centralized library in KSOU uh, there are many books uh, with regard to journalism and mass communication subjects and courses you all can visit the library in your free time there is reference sections also you can borrow the books to your house and refer uh, or and read on uh, read with the same and uh, you can visit the department anytime on working days between 10:30 and 5:30 you can call us on our uh, numbers i mean my number is 9535282063 if you all have any queries you can call to this number and it will be definitely addressed thank you so much for uh, opting journalism and mass communication and choosing karnataka state open university in particular thank you very much we'll see you in the contact program